Friends call me C. Advance. Whatever I watch is quite fun on my couch. <laughs> I'm too much. Ha! It's the most wonderful time of the year With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer It's the most wonderful time of the year Alright, so welcome back to our world of Rankin Bass The Christmas Disney, as Nostalgia Critic put it the Disney of Christmas, I should say. That's the way we put it. Anyhow, today we're looking at a f short, well, an hour-long special that was released way back when. <laughs> Hold on, I can't exactly figure out when it was exact. Eh, it doesn't matter. The point is, the special is called The Year Without a Santa Claus. So, what is the special about? Well sometime in the past in a time that as Mrs. Claus puts it not Thanksgiving had passed but it wasn't quite Christmas yet Santa woke up one day to realize yeah it wasn't feeling quite right he it was like he something wasn't quite right so a doctor is sent to check him out and it basically is revealed that Santa just needs a little vacation time. And due to some negativity from the doctor saying that the kids don't really think about Christmas anymore, Santa decides, eh, you know what? This year I'm going to take a vacation. But of course, everybody in the world is like, what? So it's up to Mrs. Claus and a couple of his elves, a couple of Santa's elves, to basically show Santa that yeah people still want a Santa Claus for me this is this was a little bit hard to get through because I don't know it was just maybe something with me was not quite sitting right but it, you know eventually I did finish watching the whole thing and yeah it's it's cute I mean it's Rankin Bass you can't go wrong with Rankin Bass and for me, the best character of the show is the Snow Miser. That's why I did the whole opening musical number. But, yeah, without really saying too much, I think that people are just going to enjoy it because the characters are funny. The The plot's only like an hour long, so... There's not really much to add or subtract without spoiling too much. So, the, I will say the music is nice. And I say, final thoughts, do I recommend The Year Without Santa Claus? If you've seen all the ones like Rudolph, Frosty, and all those Rankin Bass, yeah, absolutely. Because I think you're going to like it, you're going to be enjoying it, and little kids who are new to this stuff, they're going to absolutely love it. So, yeah. Now, as far as availability, there's actually a pretty relatively easy version, which I saw. I think I got it for like $7. And actually, my version comes with a couple of extras, which I'll just do a quick little summaries of. The first one is called... Nestor the Long-Eared Christmas Donkey, which kind of reminds me of the small one, but without the Don Bluth animation and the good, witty characters. And then there's Rudolph's Shiny New Year, which is basically a sequel to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which uh, Cinema Honest Trailers did a thing about that, and they summarized it better, so if you want to see what they think of it, just watch the honest trailer of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer that's up now. So, yeah, that's all I'm really going to say about this, and yeah. So join me tomorrow as I take a look at one of Robin Williams' last 
movie roles. Just until then, see you next time.